ready for 157 pounds. Purdue's Kendall Coleman. Northwestern's Ryan Deacon. Ryan Deacon, number one in everybody's book. He's a junior, he's undefeated. Going up against the freshman, Kendall Coleman, who's having quite a year. Kendall Coleman, start. Coleman got there by coming from the three spot, beating Peyton Robb in a very close match to go to the finals. Ryan Deacon, not much problems coming through from the number one spot, Van Brill and Michigan's Luan. Number one, Deacon versus Kendall Coleman. Coleman started 15-0, Jim, and that's the best start for a freshman in P Purdue history. Real, real nice uh, freshman year. Well, we're going to get to see this young man a lot in, in his what will end up being the storied career for the Boilers. He's got the, the, the talent. He's got the beautiful freight train double, but he can also slick you, you know, with the getting shots on the opposite side and, you know, changing up his offense. He does come off of his knees quite a bit there on his techniques, what makes him difficult to score on. Ryan Deacon, I think he's the strongest wrestler in the tournament. I mean by strong, he grabs something and he grabs a tie or a head, a power, his range. He, he, he just, everybody that he wrestles feels his strength. And he's been putting up eight to nine uh, points per uh, match. And that's uh, that's been his M.O. all year, to be able to ride in the top position. But it's just so physical. And his, his defense is solid. Just, you know, it has improved immensely here. He gets to a leg. And it's just he controls everything, pops the head up in the right position, controls, seals his chest to the hips. Just beautiful stuff. The only time they met, Ryan Deacon got a major decision over Legal. Kendall Coleman, 14-0. So he picks up where he left off from the dual meet. Legal. Kendall Coleman, a redshirt Legal. freshman out of South Hall Holland, Whoa. Illinois, Mount Carmel High School. He's a three-time Illinois High School Great. place winner, Three finishing five. as a runner-up twice and placing fifth, never winning a state championship. Here he is as a freshman in the Big Ten Championships. That great? Ryan Deacon out of Broomfield, Colorado. Won a state championship for Legacy High School in 2014 when he was 45 and 0. But he's got one thing in mind right now. He won the Cliff Keen Las Vegas tournament earlier in the year, and he's looking for one thing to be on the top of the podium today and in two weeks. And he's worked himself in that position to be clearly the number one seed. And depending on how this match goes, and he's off to a kind of a Ryan Deacon start. Early takedown, and hammers guys in the top position, gets them tired. You know, this weight class at 157 is going to be really interesting. Will Luan from Michigan's back. You've got, you know, Kendall Coleman here that you see, and you've got, uh, you know, Caleb Young was number two seed in this weight class, a junior. You've got uh, Peyton Robb, from, uh, the freshman from uh, uh, Nebraska. Ryan Thomas from Minnesota is pretty good-looking, young 57-pounder. Uh, a lot of depth in this weight class going forward. I don't know where Anthony Echimedia is going to land, but it could be at 157, and he was accepted into the Ohio State University, the uh, young champion that uh, came from Cuba. Great story. Was at the same high school that uh, RBY is from at Sunnyside and has now been accepted. He hopes to join the Ohio State team um, come uh, this next year as a freshman. Greg, warning. Warning on, on Coleman in the down position. Again, pretty much a parallel ride. <laughs> that is, uh, it's just tough to get out of that when the guy breaks you down. It's so easy to hold the guy down. And, and a nice uh, return call there with the stalling in the top position. I like that answer. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're totally parallel on top of a guy like that. You don't really, you're not really working a tilt, and you're at 180 degrees with your opponent. You, uh, you know, as long as the, head, the opponent has his head off the mat, and, there's techniques that you have to learn in college wrestling now to be able to get off your belly. If you can't, you really look bad. Nice start there by Coleman. Doing a good job of fighting and fighting at the edge. Short time. Great, guys. End of the first period. Deacon, strong takedown and ride. Yeah, look at this shot when he gets into it, but look how he, he 
keeps a hold of that leg. That's two arms going against one leg right there. It doesn't happen very often where you can actually control that. There's Paul and Emily Deacon all the way from the Rocky Mountains to the Jersey Shores to watch their son hopefully win a Big Ten title. Five moments. Western with two finalists. Purdue with two finalists. Northwestern already with a champion. Sebastian Rivera at 133. Purdue. Schroeder came up short against Lee, but a strong foundation being set by Tony Ursland in his sixth year at Purdue. Yeah, I agree with you when you're saying that. I mean, they had a nice recruiting class about five years ago, and uh, they're one of those teams, you know, fifth in the Big Ten and right behind Penn State, maybe about 17 points behind them. That's down pretty well. Now you see the ability of Coleman there with that nice little shuck by. He's in a beautiful high crotch position on the crackdown. Again, is the strength of Deacon taking over? My Go guess is yes. No points yet. Got the leg hooked on top. Coleman no. wisely just kind of keep in position recognizes that he's not necessarily going to be able to score in here, but if he does try to move out of that position, he might give up the point. So, wise choice on his part. Head official, Kirk Frost, bringing them back to the center. We talk about Purdue and Northwestern. They're number five and six right now in the 14-team Big Ten uh, race here, and uh, that's really representing your, your, your school in this tournament uh, when you finish fifth and sixth. Wow, beautiful job by Coleman warding off that shot 99% of the way there. Looks Break like out. we're going to have a review on that position, but I just think Coleman just reacted so quickly before Deacon got on top of him. It's going to be a tough one to overturn. Northwestern uses one of their two remaining team challenges left. And let's take a look at how active Coleman was fighting this off, okay? So anticipates the uh, comes back on him. You know, he, he, I, thought he, I thought he did a good job of moving out of that. Nice look, you're looking for the criteria. I guess there could have been weight on the hands there when they went down. And the call is confirmed, no takedown, and that's uh, one less challenge for Northwestern, but why not? They're with their last wrestler in the finals here. In college wrestling, you get reaction time on, on, on every, almost every position on a takedown except for the, that vertical position when they you know, slide by it and, and the hands kind of graze the mat. And there's two points down. If the hand grazes the mat right there, they'll, they'll give the two. two nice right. job by Deacon once right. again on that single leg shot. But how about the effort of, you know, of, of Kendall Coleman there. You keep on putting that type of effort out there in the down position, even in a match that's like 5-0 right now, short time in the second period, you're going places in this in this uh, conference and in the nation. Break, green's down. You know, we just got saw, seeing a great example of that with, you know, Luke Pletcher. He got the quick escapes, had to work really hard to get him and then found himself in a position to be able to, but that's how you got to battle in, in, in college wrestling. One if you get taken down, seconds. there's nothing wrong getting taken down, but you got to fight that, like heck to get back up and, and cover those points. And that's how Deacon has gotten to where he's at. He's a, he's a fighter and he's in a position now as the number one seed, the number one wrestler. Tim, what I think we see from Deacon is a guy who is now, you know, he'd win a lot of matches, 3-2, uh, you know, 5-3, that type of thing. But, but uh, he's already got two minutes of riding time. He's got five points on the board, technically you know, maybe six points, but he's still looking for his offense. And, just going out there and scoring and keep scoring. Watch your hands, guys. Watch your hands. And he's, and I think he's finding out that, that, that the more he does that, he recognizes that he's one of the strongest guys out there. And that was a t that's exact position right there where there's weight on the hands on that slide by. Hands, so there wasn't any reaction time offered up. And good two points there for Kendall Coleman. I like the, the way he's Kendall, wrestling as, as a youngster in this league. Freshman there, There's Tony Ursuline in the background. 
Look the quickness though with, with 113 against the number one ranked wrestler in the country. Clean, guys. You're exactly right. He's the consensus number one wrestler in the country by all polls, by every ranking, Ryan Deacon. Undefeated in duels. He's a style matchup problem. Kendall Coleman has beautiful straight on double leg right there. And Deacon was fifth later last year. This is it. He was an All-American last year at um, finishing sixth in the NCAAs, fifth in the Big Tens. And we could talk about that all day where anybody is finishing sixth, fifth, or fourth could end up finishing higher in the NCAA. That's the toughness of this conference. Happens every year, doesn't it? Yeah, just this... Uh... Guys, I, I was impressed with Coleman when I saw him in the duel earlier this year. And I, I'm, I'm more impressed with him today, wrestling Deacon, and that, that he's just getting after it. Looks, looks fresh and explosive. All the way through a seven-minute match against the number one guy, ranked guy in the country, and it actually is with his speed has kind of shut Deacon down. But you know, Deacon's the best in the in the in the country right now, and head and shoulders, I think. But you're right about that. Last time, 14-0. This time, seven to two. Stepped in there, game. But Ryan Deacon gives. Matt Storniolo, the two-time All-American himself in his fourth year at Northwestern, his second Big Ten champion. Take a look at Ryan Deacon doing some work right there with that, that single leg finish. That, that tells you how quick he was at the beginning of the match. We saw the speed of Kendall Coleman. He was able to get in on these shots. Be able to anticipate, score. And the parents love it. Crowd. And the champs with Shane. All right, Ryan, two years ago you were sixth, last year fifth. Now you're going to stand atop the podium as a Big Ten champion. What's been the difference in your progression? Uh, I think just working every day, trying to get better. Uh, yeah, have some great coaches, great teammates, so it's a great learning environment. What are you most proud of in the way you performed and competed this weekend? Um, I think trying to get to my offense and, you know, getting ready for the big show. Congratulations, Northwestern second Big Ten champion. Nice job. Yeah, thank you.